Here we have an AeroSharp solar inverter and uh, if you have a look on the screen here it's got the it's got the power light the green power light is on the run light is on and the fault light is not on which means it should be working but if we have a look at the screen right now it says P out 0 W which means the power being outputted from the inverter is 0 watts so it, it is actually producing nothing it says it's working the power lights on the run lights on they both need to be on for the system to be producing but it's not actually producing any power now with these inverters uh, if, if it was just the power light on the run light was not on then the system wouldn't be working if the power light was on and the fault light was on and the run light was not on then it's got a fault so we need to have the power and the run light working for it to be operating but even with both those lights are on which they should be it's still showing P out of power being outputted from the inverter is zero watts and uh, we've certainly got plenty of uh, solar irradiance falling, radiation falling on the panels at the moment so it should certainly be working so this inverter is actually uh, has an issue if you ever have an issue with your inverter I'd always recommend trying to reboot the system just, uh, just to try and see if that will actually uh, uh, fix the uh, fault it can be like a computer it can develop an, an issue and if you reboot it it, it may uh, sort out the issue so we'll just try that we've got a shutdown procedure which is always important that you follow the shutdown procedure correctly turn off the solar supply main switch which is located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator so if your inverter is installed away from the switchboard it should have an inverter AC isolator like this one here so we turn that one off and uh, you see on here on the screen here now the run light is no longer on there it's just the power light and it says, it says grid bolt error on the screen and the fault light is now lit then we turn off the the pv ray dc isolator located at the inverter which is on the other side there so we just throw that off and we'll wait for this system to shut down completely just like so now with uh, rebooting a system, it doesn't matter the order, it's not as important as shutting down the system. So we'll just turn on the AC and then we'll throw on the DC. And we'll let that attempt to uh, start up. Now, unfortunately, if you do have an issue with the, your AeroSharp inverter and the reboot doesn't fix it, the AeroSharp company are no longer trading. So there's certainly, there's certainly no warranty available anymore. Uh, so unfortunately it will be an issue which you need to either get repaired or replace the inverter now I'd never recommend trying to repair one of these inverters you can spend good money trying to repair it and uh, it's still got no warranty so it could fall over the next day with another issue or the same issue again and you'd have to pay the money again I'd recommend uh, biting the bullet spending a bit more money and replacing it with a good quality replacement unit with a full warranty and now uh, if, if you do that it's always important that you know the size of the inverter that you're replacing it with so we'll have, just have a look at the uh, side of the inverter here and we'll it'll actually tell us the uh, model number of the inverter we can see there hopefully hr-inv-xo1-030 that 030 means it's a, th a three kilowatt inverter and if we have a look down here it says the nominal dc power is uh, 3500 but the nominal ac power so the normal ac power output is 3000 va or pretty pretty much you can call that three kilowatts so this is a three kilowatt rated aero sharp inverter in this place in this case sorry so at the moment it's still in the startup procedure you can see only the power light is lit the run light is not yet lit and so it's still uh, attempting to start up and it's telling us it's got uh, voltage from the solar panels it's got 208 volts on input one and no voltage on input two because we don't have anything connected to it at the moment and you can see there t today it hasn't been working at all today zero hours And you see V grid there, the voltage from the grid, and see the P out. Power being outputted from the inverter is still zero watts at the moment. And hopefully, very soon, it'll try and uh, try and start up. We'll hear some relays clicking in inside the inverter. Now, if your AeroSharp inverter does have this fault and it uh, continues to have it, if you're near the Gold Coast or uh, in southeast Queensland. 
uh, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions deals with this type of stuff every day, so feel free to give us a call. We're, we're always uh, there to help, and we've, we can usually get your system back in action for you in a very short period of time. Well, this is taking its sweet time to uh, try and have the run light come back on. Looks like it's not going to play games for us. But that's all right anyway. We uh, we know this one's got an issue, and if you, you find yours it just doesn't come up with the, the run light on, and even if it does come up with the run light, if it still has the P out as zero watts when it's a nice sunny day, uh, there's definitely a problem with it, certainly a problem with it, which uh, needs looking at. So this one is going to be replaced for the customer with a, a brand new inverter with a full warranty and uh, get their system back in action as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.